Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how we make our baby food. A lot of you guys were asking me to film something like this and I buy organic carrots that are already cut and peeled. I buy the little baby carrots just because it's easier, I don't have to peel them or anything. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is wash and rinse the carrots. Even if the bag says that the carrots have been pre-washed, I always like to wash them just to be safe. And I don't really measure the amount of carrots I put in, it just depends how much you want to make. This much probably makes about two to three batches for Arya's meals. Of course, she's already 10 months, 11 months, so she is eating a lot more. Um, when she was probably around six months, this would probably make about five, six batches. So I just rinse them a couple times. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of move the carrots around and drain it really quick. You don't have to take out all the water since you are going to be just dumping it in boiling water anyway. Um, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I normally rinse them probably two times. And as you can see here, there was like a little piece of carrot that I didn't really want to put in Arya's food. So I just threw it out. And if you see any carrots or any piece of a carrot that isn't, doesn't look too good, you could just cut it out or just throw out the little carrot. Um, so just quickly rinsing it again and um, draining it once again really quick before I throw it into the boiling water doesn't have to be perfect and that's it so now we're gonna go ahead and take all these carrots to the boiling water and I've already had the water boiling for a little bit probably five minutes or so and it was probably medium high so I kind of just dump all the carrots in there I don't throw it from the plate just so it doesn't splash the boiling water on me um, but just carefully throw it in there and the water is really hot so you have to be careful and then I just lower the temperature a little bit basically just bringing it down from medium high to about medium just to make sure that the carrots are cooked properly okay now I just kind of stir frequently and to make sure the carrots are cooked I kind of just cut them in half a few of them if they're still a bit hard that means they still need more time and I just do this a couple times until they're very soft. Okay, once the carrots are cooked, then I just place them in my blender. You can use a food processor or anything that you have to blend. I just have my blender, so that's what I use. And I kind of just use a spoon to remove everything so I don't get the water in. But if you guys want, you can put a little bit of that water in order to make it a little easier to blend. I will show you later what I use, but if I don't have milk available, then I basically just put a little bit of that water in in order to make it easier to blend. I still only blend it at first by itself, but as you can see, it really is a little bit difficult. Um, once I just kind of just move them around and try to blend a little bit. And basically, you repeat this process as often as you need to until you get the consistency that you want. Depending on the age of your baby, if your baby's six months, you want to blend it extremely well because any little piece can be a choking hazard. Now Ari is 11 months, so even if she has little pieces in there, it's okay. So here I'm just going to put the breast milk. You can use formula or you can use the water from the carrots where you cook the carrots and that's fine. You just need some sort of liquid in order to make the blending a little bit easier. Okay, so the food is now ready and I just wanted to show you the consistency of the puree. It should be kind of just smushy and almost liquidy without any little pieces of chunks in it. Now you basically just transfer the food into the storage container where you're going to keep the baby food. I just recently found these mini baby sized mason jars at Marshall's. There were three for $3.99 and I thought they were perfect to store the baby food. And one of these containers is probably good enough for one of 
Arya's feedings, but when she was six months, it would probably do for two feedings, and they're just so adorably cute, and this is what they look like. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I've used in the past. I purchased this at Walmart for $4.97, and this is the first thing that I used with Aria. And it's just, it's silicone, so it's squishy, and you basically just, just squeeze the food out, and it comes through the spoon, and that's how I would feed her. Then I purchased these on Amazon, and I thought they were so cute. They're like those pouches that you can purchase everywhere, but they're reusable, and you can stick your own baby food in them, so I love them. The bigger pouch is 4.5 ounces and the smaller pouch is 2.5 ounces and they come in a pack of four for about $14.99. And lastly, the Marshalls um, mason jars that I found, three actually they were four for $3.99, so basically a dollar each, which I thought was great. And this is basically how it came out, but obviously you can store it wherever you'd like. Hope this video was helpful, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.